while to hear it all. Well, boys, there's where we'll do a little cleaning up for the next few weeks. How do you know we will? Oh, it's a cinch. We'll scare them for a while, and then they'll be eating out of our hands. I hope you're right. I know I am. Come on, let's get going. Wonder who they are. Oh, a bunch of drunken cowboys, I guess. Sorry, Pard. <laughs> My back was turned towards you. I didn't see you. Well, maybe you can... I'm not going to sell a lead to you to shoot up this town. Now, get <laughs> out! <laughs> but I won't sell any to them. Hey, get out of here, you mule skinner, you. Now apologize to the lady and be quick about it. Take your hats off, all of you. <laughs> here it is. Tell the lady you're sorry. I guess she's right to... We're sorry. Now, vamos. Much obliged, miss, if you fill this order out. What's the commotion? Didn't I hear some shooting? Yes, uh, Mr. Um... Uh, Henderson, Tom Henderson. This is my father, Mr. Henderson. Uh, Mr. Henderson just put them rowdies out of the place. How do you do? I'm glad to know you. I can't see your face. But I like your voice. Are you aiming to stay a while in Chico? Uh, not in town. I want to claim a few miles from here, and I'm on my way to do the assessment work on it. Uh, that's the reason I'm stocking up on drugs. Well, we'll be glad to have you call and see us often. I'm sure we're going to like your company. Uh, thank you. Oh, Jerry. Yes, Nora? Help me fill this order for Mr. Henderson. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you. Well, a fan, how do you do? And a guy can't buy any ammunition, huh? Keep your shirt on, will you? The boss will get us all we want while he's got enough over there to supply a regiment. Oh, boy. Am I just dying to shoot up this town, aren't you? And I'm going to plug that fresh geezer. Mm. Mr. Henderson, how long do you expect to stay at your cabin? Oh, about four or five days. Why? 
Well, you've got ten pounds of chewing tobacco on your list. That ought to last about a year. <laughs> well, that's not for me. That's for Mary. Mary? Yes, Mary. My burrow. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is packed, Nora. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Jerry will take those out for you, Mr. Henderson. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You are, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Mary likes it. Good morning, Nora. Oh, Luke. Meet Mr. Tom Henderson. Pleased to meet you. Howdy. My name is Luke Hargrave. Glad to know you. I run the Chico National Bank. Mr. Henderson's going to work a gold claim up at Clear Creek. Oh, just a claim. Pretty good looking, though. Nothing to brag about yet. Well, that's you know. fine. I hope you strike it rich. Uh, thank you. Well, I'm awfully glad I met you all. Thank you. Same to you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Is it all right? Yeah, everything is all right. Don't forget to look us up soon. You bet I won't. Goodbye. Think he'll come this way? Why, sure. This is the only way that he can get back to his cabin. Boys, here he comes now.
Hey, did you say that guy was easy? He hit me when I wasn't looking. Yeah, us, us too. too. Yeah. I'll get that guy yet. Yeah. Listen to me, Mary. You're becoming a tobacco addict. This has got to be stopped. Ten pounds in five days, much too much. Now I've got to go to town to get you more tobacco. Anyway, it gives me a good excuse to go to town. I'm telling you, this can't go on any longer. We've got to get rid of this bunch of outlaws. That's right. Yes, yes. I understand this Slim Walker and his gang have been terrorizing the community for a long time. Five days, we haven't dared even go out onto the streets. What we need is a real man to be our sheriff. Someone with nerve to get rid of that gang. That's right. Yes, yes. Uh, Oh, Mr. Henderson, won't you come in? Thank you. What's the holiday for? Wedding or a funeral? Oh, we haven't quite decided yet. Looks like a funeral to me. The town is sure enough dead. We're in trouble, Mr. Henderson, and need advice. Maybe you can help us. Why, well, sure, anything I can do, I'll be glad to. Boy, it's caught. Three to me. I'll take two, please. Yep. Three. Yep. Three. Three. <coughs> I'll take two myself. Uh, what do you think, boys? They're holding an indignation meeting over in Kane's store. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah. They're trying to figure a way to get us out of here. <laughs> Can you imagine? The good citizens of Chico trying to get rid of us, huh? <laughs> but not as long as the boss is behind us. Well, he'd better hurry up and let us pull that job. Well, he said you've got to wait for the right time to pull it. I don't trust him any too much. What do you mean? You insist on knowing, I think he's a dirty crook. Oh, I mean. now, wait, don't get excited. He'll come through all right. He better. I ain't stuck on sticking around this town much longer. Hey, listen, fellas. Let's throw a scare at that gang over there and shoot up this indignation meeting, huh? What do you yeah. say? Uh -huh. <laughs> Take the job. You mean you'll be our sheriff? Yes. As mayor of Chico, I ask you folks to appoint Mr. Tom Henderson as our sheriff. Here, sure, here. Sure. I'll answer it. Oh, Mr. Hartley, come in. Howdy, folks. What's going on? We're trying to figure out how to get rid of Slim Walker and his gang. Well, what do you propose to do? We've already done it. We've appointed a new sheriff. 
And Mr. Henderson has accepted the job. Why, this is downright suicide. Drunken cowboys sometimes run wild. I've handled them before. But as a stranger, you shouldn't take such a chance. I'm willing to take a chance in an emergency like this. Wouldn't you? Why, uh, I certainly would. But being a banker, I have more important responsibilities than uh, risking my life as a sheriff. Well, that's one worry I haven't got. Well, I certainly admire your nerve, my friend. I only hope they don't carry you out of the Roundup Saloon feet first. Well, that doesn't scare me one bit. There's only one way to die, and that's feet first. You're all right, Tom. You don't mind me calling you, Tom. No, no, it's all right, Mr. Hargrave. No gunplay, brother. Just leave your shooting iron on the bar. I don't aim to have a loaded gun in back of me, my friend. Raise your fire, boys. Call it? Fine. Beats me. I'll call. Stand? All right, draw them. Gents! I'm the new sheriff of Chico, and I'm not going to make a speech. I've come to arrest Slim Walker, and I want no interference. All right, Walker, let's get going. Take out your paw. Stick out your other paw or draw. Has he got Walker with him? Yes, he's bringing him over here. I'd like to have a man for a guard. Dick? Yes. You go along with Tom. All right. You stay here and see that he gets what he needs. I'll have supper sent in. Oh, by the way, if you need me, you'll find me at the game store. All right, Sheriff. Time to you. All right, Tom. Just as well let me out of here right now. Something kind of big, ain't you? <laughs> hey, listen. I ain't been out of bigger jails than this one. Yeah, and I've heard bigger crooks than you bragging in my time. Say, listen. How much do you want to bet that I'm not out of here by daylight? <laughs> uh, not even the hole in the donut.
Here you are, sir. Jerry, how do you spell unprecedented? U N P R E C E D E N T E D. Correct. Now, if you just switch your D over where your T is, everything will be all right. Thank you, sir. Page complete? Yes, sir. All right. Lock it up, Jerry. Yes, sir. All done, Dan? Yes, Nora. And it's the first extra we've got out in a long time. Oh, Jerry, hurry up with that. I'm anxious to see it. Be with you in just a jiffy, Miss Nora. You are, Miss Nora. Tom Henderson brings law. First shot brings justice. For the first time in many months, all honest citizens of Chico were breathing freely when Tom Henderson, the newly appointed sheriff, arrested Slim Walker, notorious bandit and cattle thief. That's great. Just right. I'm going to take the first copy up to Tom. He'll be tickled to death. That's the stuff. Now we'll get rid of these varmints. Yeah, but read this. The new sheriff got Slim Walker. Well, maybe we'll have peace and order from now on. Did they get the big bad man? Sure did. Nobody can keep Slim in any jail. That's the bunk. Well, it looks like the reign of terror is over. I'm afraid not. Well, anyway, the new sheriff made a grand start. Maybe so. But anyway, I'm not letting down on protecting my deposit's money. You can rest assured of that. Well, of course, I understand your responsibility, Luke, but... You've got to give this man credit. Mm, maybe so. Oh, I have a surprise for you. For me? What is it? Now, Miss Kane, you know I don't deserve such boosting. In the first place, my name's Nora to you, Mr. Henderson. And in the second place, you are a hero. And in the third place, Tom to you. And the fourth place, I'm not a hero. It was all luck, that's all. Oh, Tom, it wasn't luck. It's because you are you. And I still insist I was plum fortunate. Oh, Tom, you've no reason to say such a thing. Oh, yes, I have. A big reason. I mean... What? Tom, what do you mean? Well, can't you guess? I don't understand. Well, let's go back and see Dad. Remember, I have to get dinner for three tonight. <laughs> Sheriff. Now, Miss Kane, must I tell you again that my name is Tom, or must I resign as Sheriff? Yes, Sheriff. I mean Tom. <laughs> but must I tell you that my name is Nora, or must I fire you as Sheriff? <laughs> Hello. Is this Chico? Yes. Is the new Sheriff there? Just a minute. Tom, it's for you. For me? See how popular you are? 
Hello, this is the new sheriff speaking. This is Frank Simpson, the county clerk. We're confirming your appointment. I also want to congratulate you on uh, catching up with Slim Walker. <laughs> well, that's all right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to send a party for him in the morning. All right, Mr. Simpson. And I'm sending you a check for $1,000. $1,000? What for? The reward money. We'll send it down with a marshal. Goodbye. Uh, uh, but listen. Uh, listen. Huh. That was the county clerk. They're going to come after Slim Walker in the morning. And what do you think? What, Tom? I'm to get a thousand dollars reward for capturing you. Oh, Tom, that's wonderful. Why, that's enough money to start. To start what, Tom? I was just dreaming. It's only Dad. Huh. Dad? Shooting? Yes, he shoots at tin cans and bottles. He's done it ever since I can remember. But, but how can he hit anything? You mean because he's blind? Yes. That doesn't make any difference to him. He goes by his hearing. His hearing? He's really wonderful. He gets the slightest sound. You go out and back and watch him. You won't mind. And I'll get dinner ready. I sure want to see that. Why, I've never heard of such a thing. Tap him, Jerry. Sheriff? Hello, Jerry. Oh, Sheriff. I suppose you're going to arrest me for shooting in town. Why, well, I know. It's all right. What I'm trying to figure out is how you hit them every time. Just practice, my boy, and good hearing. But it's uncanny, if you excuse me saying so. Sit down. All right, Jerry, that'll do for today. Tom? From the moment I heard your voice, I liked you. That's very nice of you to say so, Mr. Kane. Just make it dad. I never flatter people. I mean it, Tom. <laughs> All right, Dad. I'm going to tell you why I've practiced shooting. Something I've never told anyone except Nora. That's just the way I expected you to look. I can trust you. About 18 years ago, when Nora was a little tot, I was panning gold up on the Blue River. That's it. That's it. Nuggets. Plenty of them. You like that, darling? Yes. Of course you do. <laughs> Mary! Mary! Oh, yes, Mary. Mary, dear. I've struck it rich. Oh. Nuggets, nuggets. Oh, John, I'm so glad. Oh, my much. Now you can have anything you want. Anything. Look. Oh, look, darling. Oh, look at Daddy's yes. nuggets. Oh, look. It's all full, dear. I kept the location of my claim a secret. Nobody knew of it except my wife. One day, when I returned home... You better tell me where your husband's claim is or I'll... Oh, never tell. Never, never.
My wife was dead. My sight was gone. But who was this killer? I never knew his name. I couldn't tell if he stood before me now. But I never forgot his voice. Do you think you'd know the voice if you heard it now? I'd know it if I heard it in a crowd. If I heard it a mile off, anytime, anywhere. That's why I've practiced shooting by sound all these years. Because someday I'll hear that voice again. I just saw a crowd of men heading for the jailhouse. I heard them talking about taking Slim out. They had a rope. to go uphold law and order. Isn't that so? Sure we may be uh, sure. But law and order goes both ways, for the peaceful citizens as well as for the offender. That's all right, but we want the prisoner. Well, you won't get him. He's my prisoner and I'm responsible for him. If you want him, you'll have to get me first. Listen, folks. I've had a phone call from the county marshal. They're sending a posse tomorrow morning to take the prisoner in. And in the meantime, he's in my care, and I'll see that he gets a fair break. As long as we've made a good start for law and order, we ought to give it up, folks. Remember, it goes both ways. Well, maybe he's right, folks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Let's take it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're all right, Henderson. You've saved these people from making a horrible mistake. Glad you think so. You'll go a long way in this town, even if I have to see to it myself. Thank you. This is the best dinner I've had since I was a pup. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm certainly glad you enjoyed it. Oh, never mind. Sit still. I'll get it. Well, then I'll clear the table. Hello, Kane Store. I want to talk to the sheriff. Now, this is the sheriff speaking. Good. This is Joe Mullane, the county marshal. I'm speaking for Mr. Simpson, the county clerk. Oh, yes, yes. We heard you had an attempt at a necktie party for Slim Walker. Well, it didn't get very far, you know. So we heard. It was good work on your part, all right. Well, that was all a matter of luck. Ah, uh, you're too modest, sheriff. But here's the idea. We have decided to send a posse tonight at 11 instead of tomorrow morning. 11 tonight? Yes. We want to get the prisoner tonight without anyone knowing it. Just to make sure there won't be another lynching attempt. Can we rely on you, sir? Sure. I'll be at the jail at 11 sharp and wait for your posse. That's the idea. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, sit down, Tom. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. That was another call from the county clerk about the posse being here early in the morning. Now you just stay right there. I'll answer this one. Uh, uh, it's a surprise for you, Tom. <laughs> there we are. We want you, Mr. Sheriff to accept this small token of our esteem in appreciation of your bringing law and order to our little town. Thank you. 
This is sure wonderful. Uh, folks, I I don't know what to say, but but anyhow, I I thank you one and all. Y'all just heard Congratulations, Tom. Congratulations. This is my own idea, Tom. The silver bullet. Where it is a luck charm. Always. Thank you, Nora. I. I. Well, thank you again. <laughs> well, folks, we might as well make this a good celebration. I've got some fine ten year old down in the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything's fixed, all right. When are we going to pull this job? Ten after eleven? We'll be here, but how about Slim? Don't worry, he'll be here. Well, folks, let's drink a toast to the man who brought law and order to Chico. That's good. That's good. Excuse me, folks, uh, but uh, I must leave now. Oh, but Tom, can't you stay a little longer? We've just started. Yes, we've well, yes, just started. Folks, it may sound silly, but I have to get back to my cabin on account of Mary. Mary? Mary? Oh, Mary's his girl. Oh. <laughs> you see, she's accustomed to about a pound of chewing tobacco every day. Excuse me, folks. I'll be back soon. Oh, we'll be waiting for you. I'll be back. Well, let's have another drink, eh? Well, he ought to be here any minute. Here he comes. I'm Joe Mullane, the county marshal. Uh, is your prisoner ready? Yes, sir, Marshal. And I'd be glad to get rid of him. Yeah, he'll be much safe in the county jail, I reckon. <laughs> Vic, get the prisoner. Right. Right. You go along with him. Your idea of coming here tonight, Marshal, is very good. As I was... The boss is going to meet us in Box Canyon at 7 in the morning for the divvy. All right, come on, hurry up. Well, I hope Tom Henderson gets back real soon. Getting pretty late for an old man like me to be out. <laughs> Maybe that's Tom. Oh. Where's Tom Henderson? Well, he's gone to his cabin. He'll be back in a minute. What's wrong? Cabin? Cabin nothing. He was up at the jail a while ago, and now he's gone. What? And Slim's gone, too. Oh, no. Maybe that's he. Oh, 
My bank's been robbed. What? Huh? Is the sheriff here? No, he's just gone. Who did it? It was Slim and his gang. They forced me at the point of their guns to open the vault. And just before they rode away, Slim was bragging something about a fake posse and how Tom Henderson himself had given Dick the order to release him. That's right. He did. to say is it looks mighty suspicious to me. Everything seems to dovetail into accusing Tom Henderson of knowing a lot about it. Yes, it does. It looks like it to me, too. Slim broke jail. I had a fake telephone call. There was a fake party. Yeah, we know all about that. And Slim and his gang just robbed my bank. Who's coming with me? What for? Trail Slim and his gang. <laughs> Who's going to trail you? Yeah. yeah. I'm riding alone. Oh. Well, folks, I guess we got rid of Slim and his gang for good, including our new sheriff. What do you mean? Well, I think it was in with those crooks all along. Yeah, that's the way it looks to me. I'm going. Well, good night. I, I can't believe it, Dan. Neither can I. His voice sounds honest, and I'm never mistaken about a voice. I'm County Marshal. Just a minute. Oh, Nora! Here's the Marshal. Is Tom Henderson here? Why, uh, no, he's not. We're here to take Slim Walker to the county jail. Well, won't you come inside, Marshal? There's quite a lot to talk over first. This Slim Walker's gang is a dangerous bunch, and there may be some shooting. All right, Marshal, let's go after them. About time for the boss to get here. No, I wish he'd hurry so we could beat it. I'm for Debbie and up right now without him. Oh, keep your shirt on. He'll be here soon. Oh, and that guy double crossed his own mother. Shut up. You're always beefing about him, ain't you? We all got a right to beef. Didn't he stop us from plugging that new sheriff? Yeah. Scurvy's right on that. That sheriff is poison.
right, Mr. Sheriff. Come out and get your dose of lead. All right, then, I'm coming to get you. Who made that fake phone call? I don't know. Suppose I tell you you did. That's a lie. You're a bunch of double-crossing crooks. And the biggest one among you is the man that told me that you made that fake phone call. Who told you? He told me that you framed the whole thing. It was you who fixed the bank robbery, too. Why, the dirty double-crossing pole can't. It was Luke framed the whole thing. Oh, Luke! That's the voice I've been waiting to hear. He got us to come to this town, and he got us to hold up his own bank. And I can prove every word I say. Two point, get him! Oh. It's too late, Dad. Luke shot him. Luke? I'm glad it's over. It's been a long wait. Are you hurt? No, I'm all right. I wouldn't be if I hadn't had your silver bullet. Sheriff, here's your thousand dollars reward. And a lot of good luck to you. Thank you, Marshal. One thousand dollars. That's enough money to buy a ton of chewing tobacco for Mary. Unless... Unless what? 